Hello everyone, this is Manoj. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will learn how to use a third party API into React application. Alright, let me show you the API. If you go to your Google browser and type JSON fake API for testing. So you will find a link json placeholder dot typeycode dot com. So click on it. So on this website you will find multiple fake APIs for your testing. So we will use this API. Click on it. You can see by this API we will get this data. Let me copy this complete data. Open new tab and just type JSON viewer on the first link JSON viewer dot stack dot HU click on it and paste the data here and click on viewer so you can see we have 10 records and inside every record we have multiple properties like ID name username email address street city zip code geolocation so so on so this is the api and this is the response and we'll use the same api in our application so for that i have already created a new application so in visual studio code let's run the application first by npm start command Project first React API now npm start. <coughs> so you can see this is a fresh application. Now go to your source folder and add a new file and call it drop down js so we'll use react hooks and axios so for that i have already installed axios and bootstrap also to make some beautification so let me show you in pack package.json so we have axios we have bootstrap all right so go to your source and drop down.js so first import react from react and also use state and use effect after that let's create the functional component function drop down and inside let's return only h1 api example finally export this go to app.js and inside this let's import the component drop down from drop down and let me comment this header part and inside this dev let's include our component which is drop down save this go back to browser refresh this i think oops we can't close this to return save this now you can see ap example is rendered now first let's declare an object users and a function set users and at initial level let's declare the state as blank array all right now in use effect it will be a function 
So inside this we will use Axios. So first import Axios from Axios and inside this Axios dot cat. Here we will use our API. Go to browser and copy this and paste it here. It's a promise based API. So then response. Let's log it first console dot log. And in case of error, log the error as well. Console.log error. Save this. Go back to browser. Go to developer tools. You can see we have an object. And inside object, we have a data tag. And inside data, we have all users data as you can see we have 10 users so we have 10 users all right now go back to visual studio code replace console.log with set users and we have to use response.data because data is coming let me show you again in data tag so response dot data fine now let me remove this h1 inside return let me take a select a drop down the first So now data is in this users object. So we'll use this users dot map user option value user dot id and here user dot name save this go back to browser we have our drop down and inside drop down we have our users data you can see this undefined is coming again and again 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 why this is happening because when we use use effect it will take two parameters first is function another one is state so let's declare this as a blank array let's save this go back to browser open developer tools you can see it has stopped fine let me also give a key here user dot id save this fine no error is coming now let me also give a default option here option value would be zero and default text would be select user save this fine let me give a class here for that we have to import bootstrap here or you can say can directly give a class by using class name property form control call md let's say three save this you can see it is looking nice as compared to earlier fine now we will take the ID of any user and display data below this drop down. So, how we will do that? First, 
let's create a on change event on change on ddl change the event name after the use effect on ddl change it would be a arrow function first alert it dot target dot value save this we have to declare as const save this go back to browser so you can see the id is coming in alert box perfect Let's declare another state for a single user. Let's say single user and set single user. Save. Let me comment this and copy this axis dot get call. Paste it here. And if you see this api endpoint is giving all the users data but if i pass any user id so it will return the respective user like 5 so it will return fifth user so now we will use this api endpoint so copy this paste it here and now we will append the id which we are getting from the drop down value so e dot e dot target dot value and copy this set single user paste it here let's save this perfect first console it console dot log save this go to our page let's refresh this open developer tools so you can see we are getting data let's check for another user yeah we are getting data perfect now replace console.log with set single user perfect now let's take two break line let's wrap this inside a dev tag otherwise it will give error so now we will use a table which we will use from bootstrap so import table from react bootstrap so here table and we will use the inbuilt classes which are stripped bordered and over inside we have a t, t had inside t had let's add some header value first one is id let me copy this and uh, name name username email after t head let's include t body and here we will use this object single user tr td 
single user dot id just copy this and paste four times second one is name third one is username last one is email let's save this go back to browser refresh this select any user perfect this is second user let me call this fourth one perfect so you can see our application is working as expected Fine. so let me recap for this we have used react hooks first we use this api to get all users data and bind in a drop down and after that on a selected change or you can say on change event we are getting the user's id and we are using another api to get a particular user's data and after getting data we are binding a single user in this table so that's it i hope you like the video if you did so hit the like button share comment if you have any doubt regarding this video or the previous ones you can comment on the videos or you can reach out to me through my instagram handle you can find my instagram handle in my channel description so i'll see you in the next video thanks for the watching take care bye bye